How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rad's Let's Talk Transfers and Nottingham Forest. They're very quiet subjects I know, sorry to bore you. Not really much happens in the world of transfers at Nottingham Forest in the last 12 months. Um, sorry, I lie, literally everything under the sun has been happening in terms of transfers. And we're going to discuss it in this video. If you do enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Currently, 59.6% of you are not subscribed to the channel that watch my videos. Pretty fraudulent behaviour in my opinion, so please change it. If you are new and you enjoy my content, do just that. I'd greatly appreciate it. And let's chat transfers, shall we? It's, there's a lot we can be discussing when it comes to that. So we'll start with confirmed deals. The confirmed deals in the last seven days have been Aaron Donnelly going on loan to Port Vale and like Embeso going on loan to Green Gamp. They're not the most exciting transfers or most important transfers in the last seven days, or transfer news, I should say. But they're the only confirmed deals. It's a good move for both of them. Mbiso has been surplus to requirements for a long time. He needed a loan. He's still young. Donnelly made his debut for Port Vale at the weekend and apparently did quite well. So I wish them both the best. They're both very good, young, exciting players. But more importantly, let's talk about players in. Just casually starting with Kelo Navas, potentially signing for Nottingham Forest, the three time Champions League winning goalkeeper. I can't quite comprehend that, honestly. I've watched Real Madrid win those Champions Leagues and he was in the goal. The goal. He was in goal for Real Madrid for at least a few of those finals. And now he's going to be playing for Nottingham Forest as a backup goalkeeper. Since when? How does that make any sense? He's, he's 36, which is a bit of a concern. It's not long term. It would be another loan. To have two goalkeepers on loan really isn't ideal, but Henderson is a good chance he'd sign for us in the summer, I think, and Navas. It, he wouldn't sign for us, but it would be a short-term fix, but one that we desperately need in terms of just strength and depth in goalkeeper position, but also because we just haven't got enough goalkeepers as well. Uh, and I don't really think Hennessy and can we even count Jordan Smith when it comes to goalkeepers? And apparently PSG would pay most of his wages, so it's a win-win really. Um, insane signing. Absolutely insane. It looks likely to happen. Another player being linked with us of a very high calibre and another Brazilian Felipe from Atletico Madrid. We could potentially have two Atletico Madrid centre-backs in our defence, or former Atletico players. Now again, I'm a bit concerned that he's 33. It doesn't really solve our problems long term, and I haven't watched him play in depth. He doesn't strike me as a very quick player, so that doesn't really solve the long-term centre-back problem and pace problem. But... We're getting a quality centre-back here, one that's played at an elite level for all of his career. He's played for Brazil, played for Porto, played for Atletico. He's played 46 times in the Champions League. He's won the Copa del Rey, the La Liga, Portuguese title. He's won a lot. Wolves also interested in him. As a subplot to this rumour, it looks like Bayer Leverkusen are trying to hijack this deal off Forest at the last minute. Not too sure how likely this is to happen or... How likely it is he will join Forest now, but this is a latest update on Felipe. It would be a huge signing, you know, to add him into our centre-back um, list is huge. Absolutely huge. How many times can I say huge in one go? I did a good job of that, in my opinion. I'm just a bit concerned that he's 33. Like, you know, I don't really think that's ideal. Especially when we've been linked with Jonathan Tarr, who I'm not going to talk about as much because it looks unlikely to happen. He would have been a lot better in my opinion. He's 26, I believe. And I just feel that would have been better, but I'm not gonna complain about signing Felipe. It would be a much needed, important signing. It's just a shame that it's not long term. But one that I do feel is definitely gonna happen, or oh, certainly, and this came out of nowhere, is John Joe Shelby joining Nottingham Forest from Newcastle. 30 years of age, central midfield, it'd be a permanent deal. When I first saw this rumor, I sighed be honest and I thought what why doesn't make any sense that's so unambitious uninspiring we're going backwards but now I thought of it I quite like it I, I can't lie I, I do actually quite like it nearly 300 appearances in the Premier League honestly why not it's not a long-term solution I know I'm going on about that but I feel it's important to build for the future but you also do need experience in there as well. Apparently, Shelby would sign a contract until 2025 and he's set to have his medical today. He may have even, even been announced by the time you see this video. So, yeah, I'm happy about this. It will offer great competition, huge experience. 
in the middle of the park. And because, and I'm going to talk about this other player uh, potentially leaving. Well, he's probably going to leave. We do need a midfielder, so Shelby does make sense in my opinion. Now you have to excuse me, this next player I know very little about. And uh, he has only just been linked with us. This is a guy called Brenner. I presume that's how you say it, from FC Cincinnati in the MLS. A striker slash left winger. I think an attack is another area we, we could do with another player to maybe replace Dennis. And obviously a one is injury. And basically just to fill the void of players that we've got injured. Brenner does look very good. 18 goals, 6 assists in the MLS last year. Previously played for Sao Paulo and Flumentes. I'm not me with Brazilian names again. Also, Udinese of Italy are also interested in this guy. I've been lying off a set I've seen him play before, but it seems to fit the same kind of profile as the other Brazilians have been signing. Very exciting, and they'll offer that, that extra flair and experience and potential to the team. So I'd take it 100%. Being as we're talking about Brazilian forwards, we're also linked with Angelo, I presume. Again, that's how you say it. I really do apologise for butchering these names, but you know me, if you've watched me for long enough, I can't pronounce names at all. This lad is only 18, and by the way, Brenner is 23, but this lad's 18. 18 million is apparently what we'd have to pay from Santos. He's played 102 times for Santos already, and he's only 18 years of age. He's only got three goals, but he's got nine assists. I think that's fascinating that he's played that much at the age of 18. He must be bloody good if he's played that much, but uh, not sure how likely that is to happen. And this is all speculation, let's be honest, but that is something that has happened in the last week as well. These next five rumours, I'm going to go over them a little briefly because I don't see them happening, but they have been rumoured in the last week. Roman Seiss has been linked with this literally today. Uh, Ex-Wolves centre-back, he's currently playing in Turkey, played over 200 times for Wolves and of course he played a vital part in Morocco's run to the World Cup semi-finals. I don't see this happening if we're going to be getting him for Lipe and I especially don't see it happening because he's also 32 and he's a regular for Besiktas so I think it's very unlikely we're going to get Saiz. Another guy in centre-back is Janfelt Tanganga, he was linked with it in the summer from Spurs. He'll be versatile, he can play at centre-back and right-back 23. It's pretty quick from what I've seen of him, but I think it's also unlikely, given the fact we're signing for Lipe, basically. And again, this one in midfield, I think, is unlikely because we're going to be signing Shelby, but he has been linked in the last week. Roberto, I'm sorry, I've got to go to Google Translate for this. I'm going to completely butcher that. Gagliardini. Gagliardini. Roberto. Gagliardini. That, yeah, thanks very much, Google. It would be a big change for him. He's played for Inter for seven years. He's played in Italy all of his career at the age of 28. Midfielder, he can also play as a defensive midfielder as well. Um, he's not really been in favour for Inter this year. Played nine times, whereas before that, it was a regular most seasons for them. I think it's unlikely, again, like I say, because of Shelby, but it is worth mentioning. It has been linked this last week. And two of the players that, again, I think it's just paper talk at this stage. Alan Sam Maximan. <sighs> Mate, if we'd signed him, absolutely insane. He's an absolute baller. It's as simple as that. Obviously, because Newcastle has signed Anthony Gordon for £45 million. Uh, that may have been the reason why Newcastle were rumoured to be moving on to Sam Maximan. But I would be astounded if he was to join us or anyone. I don't know why they'd let him go given how Newcastle are and how good Sam Maximan is. But again, it just shows the huge ambition that uh, Maranakis has. And one more rumour, Michel Antonio, obviously of West Ham, ex-Forest, 32. Yes, he's old, but, you know, he's still got it. He's one of West Ham's all-time top goal scorers. Obviously, he can play as a striker and on both wings. Ex-Forest, 66 goals in 254 games for West Ham. Don't see it happening, but it has been rumoured. So on to rumours out. There's not so many of these. I've actually mentioned all these players in the past, but there's been updates to their potential exit. Harry Toffolo is set to go to Anderlecht on loan. That is a very strange move. We didn't expect him to go abroad if he was going to get loaned out, but I think that experience could help him. He's only 27. Obviously, a left-back, it would probably presume that Omar Richards is going to be returning if we're going to be letting go of Toffolo. I think Toffolo's been harshly treated in ways because he's not actually done that much wrong. 
but because of just how good Lottie's been for us, he was never going to get back into the team, and we obviously hold Richards in higher regard. So it feels like it was only going to happen, really, loan him out. And speaking of Toffolo, his former Huddersfield teammate, Lewis O'Brien, is set to be going to one of West Brom or Sheffield United on loan. I think this is really sad. When he got ill early on in the year, that seemed to hit him. I just feel Cooper doesn't trust him like he does the other players. I feel O'Brien is still a very good player with huge potential and I hope that he does play for us again. But either way, that is an incredible signing for West Brom or Sheffield United. I think Sheffield United could get him because they're going to be losing Sander Berg to Fulham apparently. And obviously West Brom, he'll be linking up with his old manager. So both of them would work. Another rumour out is Hwang. He could be joining Chicago Fire in the MLS. 30 years of age, he's not scored for Olympiacos. And he was pretty bang average at the World Cup, but he's leaving as a Forest legend, despite never probably even entering the city of Nottingham at any stage. Um, so yeah, see you later, mate. And Teeth Canate has been linked with a move to Sunderland on loan, eight goals in eight games for Forest under 21. He's made three senior appearances for Forest all last season. Well, he is going on loan, but not to Sunderland, because since I've recorded this, he's joined Oxford United, which I think is a great move for Canate. I think a loan would do him the world of good. He's a brilliant, Really exciting attacking midfielder, and I think alone is what he needs to really kick on. And I think it's worth mentioning Emmanuel Dennis, he's still rumoured to be leaving, but nothing's really been happening. It would obviously have to be abroad to either America or China or Saudi Arabia, somewhere like that. Nothing has really been reported, but I think the fact that we're still linked with wingers, you know, in Brenner, for instance. I think that says that Dennis could still be on his way out. Of course, he can't go to an English club or even a European club. He's already played for Watford and Forest this year. But that pretty much is it for signings or potential signings. Definitely the most hectic this video has been uh, this whole window, which isn't a surprise. It's deadline day tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Everyone, if you have, hit the like button. Subscribe to Rads if you're new. I'm maybe doing a live stream tomorrow. Probably will be doing one. I may get a guest on as well just to talk about what's been happening. And we can just give our thoughts. We, we can obviously interact with all of you watching. And you can give your thoughts as well. And yeah, it should be good to do that. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you very soon, everyone.